Ya ucha bula ne kumalo ya ike lindu kumanchi. Asiras ya ike lindu ya ike lindu kumanchi. Ya ike lindu. Ya ike lindu. I'm telling you. Um, Jabula ne kumalo, the former MK leader, has written to parliament to say, listen, we are coming to get sworn in in the first sitting of parliament on Friday. He says he does not believe in what Jacob Zuma is doing, is uh, victimizing people, and Jacob Zuma is running the party as he wishes. And he, he says he himself will be there to be sworn in as a member of Mkondwe Sizi. Well, Parliament did not take lightly to those claims. They dismissed them. But what I want to talk about in this video, in addition, is the decision of the MK party not to go for the first sitting of Parliament. What effects or how will it affect the supporters of Mkonto Wesizwe and how will it affect Mkonto Wesizwe as a party and their role that they have to play in Parliament? Welcome to King Said So, Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So, Africans can unite your pan-Africanist podcast. Enjoy. Sino President, which is Unlamala Uzum. La Pasi Uga Zuma, Ukonu Komanda, Lo Okuma. So, if you know what this thing I let me say Especially as before, we go to we make no president. That will be the working as a chief. We have one president, which is Uso. I am the commander. Na pansi kubholi bugan mamala. Peace in pan Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Said So. I'm your host, King 053, Mr. Easy Imali, and we're back at it again with another one. And this time around, we go back to MK Party where there's a little bit of drama and there's a little bit of something that I need to explain to you guys why I support the position of MK Party not going to the first sitting of parliament pending the case that they have um, taken forward to the electoral court to challenge the outcome, the announcement of the 2024 election as being free and fair and challenging some rigging in those... Um, in those elections, in the in in, in the latest uh, um, elections. Okay, let's start up with with uh, Mr. Kumalo and take him out of the way because this video is not going to be about Kumalo. We have given Kumalo too much attention. Hey, go to the comment section if you agree. We are giving this man too much attention now. He has exposed himself as being a person who is was really working with. Um, the right wing to destroy MK party from within and he failed. You cannot outsmart the chess player, the chess master. You cannot outsmart him. And um, he has made it clear so many times that um, no one can outsmart him in, in, in politics. I mean, Jacob Zuma knows this game in and out. And even today, I still he's sti I still I still think he's ten steps ahead of us. Um, even what I'm going to say, I think J uh, Jacob Zuma is still ten steps ahead. So Jabulano Kumalo has written to a uh, uh, Parliament Secretary, I believe, to say, "Listen, I am coming to me personally. I don't know about the others. I am coming." To, to be sworn in as an MP because I am on the list. But remember, like I said, the MK party is 10 steps ahead of everyone, uh, including Mr. Kumalo. Uh, and they have written to Parliament to say, take this man out of our list. And obviously the man is no longer part of the list. He's been suspended from the party, uh, expelled from the party, uh, that is. And so there's... There's those letters that are flying uh, in between. I'm sure you guys have seen them on social media and all of that. I'm not going to read the letters for you. The gist of the letters is Kumalo saying, I'm going to come. And the MK saying, listen, we, um, uh, the secretary, the, the speaker, the secretary of the parliament saying, listen, we don't acknowledge you as an MK member anymore. It's been reported widely uh, in the news right now. But let me get into this one because it's very important to me. 
uh, because people think that MK party is unnecessary causing drama in terms of this first parliament sitting because the MK party has written to the courts to challenge the decision of the IEC to say, listen, we've got evidence, we've got evidence here and this evidence uh, for us, is the, it's material for um, to denounce the elections results, to say this, these results were not a true reflection of what is happening. And people are complaining, saying, oh, MK, but you did so well. Um, Algema has taken out proof that elections were leaked, were, were rigged in uh, Cape Town, that actually they've lost about 5,000 votes in, in, in total, in totality. Uh, because of these rigged uh, results, the IEC said those 5,000 are not material. We have the uh, uh, Freedom Front Plus that have taken out a video that have shown. We found discrepancies uh -huh. on our counting slips, uh, photos that uh, our priority agents took of our uh, counting slips, um, and what is on um, IEC results. Uh, Malco Strand Country Club, um, we found that national, uh, we counted 89, IEC said no, zero. On uh, Sedgefield Primary School, we counted 41, IEC said four. At Barnard Hall in Langeberg, we counted 35, IEC said uh, five. With you guys, this is how many votes that we have lost, and we are launching a, 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 pro, a, 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 a grievance against the IEC to say we have lost so many results. The, uh, the PA, the so many parties, we counted about 20 of them that said no, but there's something wrong here. Uh, our VDs have have given us this number, but on the board there is a different number, a number, including the rigging of the elections uh, when the board went off and on for some for some few hours, and and the IEC, the the MK party also has got um, what you call IEC members as part of their weaknesses who who through voice notes and everything have said, listen, we were forced to put in these numbers instead of these numbers. But the IEC still managed to say they are brushing those claims aside. They are not material. Now, we're coming to my point that I wanted to make. If you don't fight for anything in your life, you'll never achieve anything uh, worth fighting for. Some of you get it, some of you don't. Mkonto we Sizwe, Jacob Zuma, they are showing us, Guti, you should never accept things for the sake of continuity, just because uh, for the greater for the greater uh, good of other people, uh, continuity must continue, and then you must suffer. That is what has killed us as black people. 1994, we accepted nonsense just for the sake of peace and continuity. Let's just, man, uh, you know, even though we have won the elections, 65, 64% that uh, um, Nelson Mandela won the elections with in 1994, but still for the sake of continuity and peace, he said, let us have a government of national unity. Why? Why is it that we black people can't stand and say, listen, we tolerated enough is enough. From this line going forward, we don't tolerate anything anymore. Why is it that we black people can't do that? Why? You tell me. You blaming them contours for fighting for what they believe is right in the court system. You have deployed extra police in KwaZulu Natal in, in attempts to intimidate um, Mkonto Wesizwe. Um, Mkonto Wesizwe uh, released a statement and said, we, we welcome the police in KwaZulu Natal. Thank you very much. Actually, it will take the crime down. We welcome the police. But we are not a violent party and we discourage our members to participate in any forms of violence. In fact, we as Mkonto Wesizwe have not been involved in any form of violence in our entire campaign since Jacob Zuma announced his endorsement of the MK party on the 16th of December 2023. No violence whatsoever. Now, they are fighting not only for MK. 
They are fighting for you and me. Because if elections are going to be rigged in 2029, again rigged uh, five years later in 2034, um, 2039, 20, uh, you, you know, when, who is going to stand up for us as black people? Because remember, going into this uh, period of um, coalition government, of our, our, our government, our political period, we as black people, we are going to see elections being rigged every year so that there cannot be a dominant party sitting and, and calling the shots, especially a left wing. I don't know why we call them left wings and right wings, but that we found these languages here. Left wing means um, they are they are pro black, um, and the middle wing they are they don't know what they are doing. Right wings they are those ones who are saying uh, African, I mean, a nation, um, multiracial, and all of those things. Well, at least that's how I understand it. The MK is fighting for you and me. They are teaching us in our lives because some of you has tolerated even racism uh, and discrimination at your workplace. And you kept quiet for the sake of continuity. I let me, man, let me, you know, it's not all about me. I'm going to be the only one who's going to complain. You have never fought for anything. In your families, you have been abused. You don't have a voice for the sake of continuity because the person that's doing something to you has got a higher class, a higher authority than you, then you keep quiet for the sake of continuity. I man, must go again. That is the, the, the sickness, the disease that's eating us as black people. So I say all power to Mkonto Wesizwe. All power to the MK party for standing up for black people. For standing up for what they believe is right. All power to Mkonto Wesizwe for standing up for all parties in South Africa or those who are just submitting to the IEC, as if the IEC is the almighty God of politics. That's all I'm going to say in this election, in this video. You guys on the call, on the comment section, tell me what you think. Just go and tell me what you think, you know? I don't like this. I don't like what is going on. I don't like this. Let's support the MK. I'm going to go on record and say that. Let's support the MK in what they are doing to try and salvage the last integrity of black people. And um, I'll be wrong in saying, in not saying, um, there is an other side of it, because other people are saying it. Um, I have to point it out. There is an other side to say, Jacob Zuma is selfish. Because Jacob Zuma is not going to go to parliament. He's making his party to also suffer and fight his, his internal fights with the, IEC, with the ANC, the IEC, and whatever. Because he will not be president because he did not get the two-third majority that he was hoping for. You know, possible? Yeah, politicians are politicians. Possible. Understand, but in in that in that possibility, I still stand with um, the MK because of what they, they they are fighting for. There is that possibility. I cannot just keep it and be ignorant as a pan Africanist. Um, the history has taught us the selfishness of many leaders in um, the entire African continent. So I'm not going to skip that and act as if it's not there. But um, I think in this case, in scenario that we are sitting in, um, it is for a better cause for us as black people to support this cause of the MK party. I like it. You know, it, it shows you that these people are not power hungry. They are not, um, they just want justice. They are not there for the money, you know. They would have ran to parliament like all these other parties who were with the MK saying, no, the elections are rigged, they've got the evidence, and all of, all of them are going to parliament. About 18 of these political parties, um, well, 17 minus the MK, they are all going to parliament, all of them. Only the MK, I believe, has released a statement to say they are not going. Even parliament cancelled their bookings and their flights going to Cape Town to say, okay, you guys are not coming, we're not going to have fruitless expenditure. Uh, we are going to cancel your your flights and everything. It shows you the level of commitment that the MK party has in fighting their fights. You know, 
we have to congratulate them or we at least we have to acknowledge that um they are going um i hate flip floppers man i hate people who say one and then tomorrow they say two then three uh, day tomorrow is three uh, the next day is four understand when the mk says one the mk sticks with one the mk sticks and i know you you guys are smart enough to understand what i'm saying there no confusion we are not going to go to parliament they don't only say it with their mouth they release a letter to parliament to say listen we're not we're not coming friday they are still members they're going to be sworn in on a different day uh, believe me me all the 50 what 55 56 57 members they're going to be sworn in uh, on a different day but for now until the outcomes of the courts um, they refuse to go to parliament and I support that decision. But you guys will tell me what you think on the comment session. Um, um, just, just tell me, should controversies or not fight? Hmm? How can you think that out of 27 million people who registered, only about 16 million actually voted? Of all the queues at night that were there, how can you tell me like this was one of the lowest 10 out of elections. How can you say that to me? How can you say to me that um, special votes got two days? How can you say to me that uh, people registered to vote overseas at a low number got two days, but the people in South Africa got absolutely 24 hours to vote? How can you say that to me? Come on, people. Use your heads, man. Sometimes use uh, the head. God has given you a head. Use it, man. Uh, but if you want to refresh that head and you want to speak about other topics, go and check out African Mojolo with your boy King. And, um, you know, let's get into discussion in that channel. Um, it's our sister channel of anything that has to do with uh, dating, marriage and relationships from an African per uh, perspective. Uh, point of view anyway until we meet next time don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to pray after you pray stand up african child do your best so that god can do the rest peace in pan-africanism i salute you